There you are. Thanks. It's understandable that your company might have made a mistake, Eugene. May, may I call you Eugene? Of course. <laughs> Carly. <laughs> when the fire first happened, the police, they automatically called it an arson. As far as I know, this fire is actually still classified as an arson. Oh. Well, that could be because Margot, uh, she, L Lieutenant Hughes, she's the, the, the chief of detectives. Mm -hmm. Perhaps she didn't call your company to give you the new information. What's the new information? Well, you know that I just, I had just started Monte Carlo. The fashion design company, was it? Yes. <laughs> That's so sweet of you to remember that, mm -hmm. really. Anyway, I was trying to help this young man. He was very down on his luck. And he didn't have too much experience, but I, um, I gave him the job as sort of, um, an electrician. You have a kind heart. Mm -hmm. His name? Gabriel. Gabriel Caris. He, he worked very quickly, and, um, it's just awful to say. You can tell me. He's such a sweet kid, and he worked so hard, he tried so hard, but I, I think that perhaps he made some errors that could have led to the fire. Could this Gabriel Karras have been holding some kind of grudge against you? And uh, uh, what's the name of your partner? No, again? Gabriel liked me very much. I mean, he was very appreciative. I had given him the job. He was very appreciative indeed. Carly, what aren't you telling me? Well, I, I suppose that you'll find out about Greg and Gabriel soon enough. But I want you to know something. Deep in my heart of hearts, I, I know for certain that this fire was an accident. What are you talking about, Mom? Who said the fire was an accident? You must stay away from us. Don't you take another step into this house. Gabriel, if he moves, hit him. I'm what? calling the cops. No, no, put the phone away. I don't know how the police would let him escape. He didn't times. escape. What are you talking about? Mother, he's on bail on my recognizance. Hello, Faith. Hi. What is going on? Well, apparently your mother has lost her mind, darling. <clears throat> she's brought the boy into the house, and now she's adding the convict father to the mix. Remind me to thank you for your hospitality. Wait, Craig is staying here, too? Look, I don't care what he does, okay? I'm out of here. Gabriel. Gabriel. <sighs> First Damien, and now Craig. What are you doing? Gabriel, please, can't you just give this a chance? How did you get out of jail? Lily just told you she bailed me. What about all the other charges against you? She pulled some strings, but that would have been impossible if you hadn't come forward and admitted that your story was a lie. That made all the difference. Thank you for that. I didn't do that for you. And my son's reaction. That's a perfect example of the assumptions that people have made about the fire. Hasn't your associate, Mr. Montgomery, actually been arrested for the crime? Yeah, well, Greg has a lot of problems. A lot. <laughs> but starting fires is certainly not one of them. You were going to tell me something before about Mr. Montgomery and Mr. Karras. Uh, yes. Well, it turns out that Craig is Gabriel's father. Mm. That's startling. Yeah. And also proof of Craig's innocence. Then he is nothing if not a devoted father. He would never put any of his children in any danger. I'll look into it. Well, thank you so much. You're very perceptive, Eugene. I'm sure you'll see that it was an accident. And poor Mr. Montgomery can be freed from his awful cell. If it was an accident, we'll find out. Miss Tenney. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Poor, poor Mr. Montgomery. Since when? Since that's the only way to get the insurance money, Parker. Lying to the adjuster? I'm, I, I gave him another way of looking at things. Well, you know what, Mom? Even if this works and you do get the money, keep it, okay? Because I don't want it. Craig owes you, Parker, and he owes me. Well, if you didn't do it to help me, then why did you do it? I don't, I don't want to be a liar like you. I think there's something more to this. Does, does this have anything to do with liberty? Shut up. Shut up about stuff you don't know about. <laughs> Gabriel, if there's one thing I do know, it's women. But if you don't want to talk about her, that's, that's OK. I understand. I just hope that while we're living here, we can get to know each other better. That's all. I'm not staying here. 
Gabriel, please don't be stubborn about this. I know you resent me. Look, not everything's about you, okay? I was leaving before you even showed up. But now that you're here, yeah, I'm gone. Uh, Gabriel, come... May I help you? Yeah, I, I couldn't help but hear you calling after that young man. Is that Gabriel Karras? It is. Why? Would you mind giving Mr. Karras a phone call, asking him to come back here? <laughs> Who are you? E uh, Eugene Milton, claims adjuster. My company covered the Monte Carlo building, the one that burned down. Yes, I'm, I'm familiar with that. What do you want with Gabriel? I have some questions for Mr. Karras. Well, I'm his father. You can ask me. So I'm, I'm wondering how much uh, credit I have on this account. Ooh. Can we bump that number up a little? Increase the limit? Uh, could you repeat that, please? I, I, did, I didn't hear it. Uh, yeah, thanks for your time. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to call you back. finally find your get out of jail free card in your wallet you're gonna pay for this you sent that insurance adjuster to harass my son to accuse my son what? did did he say i sent him yeah he mentioned your name well i just told him the truth you want revenge you come after me but you leave my son out of oh, it Craig, that's not what this is about You know, forget it. I, I really, I wanted to see Johnny grow up. I, I wanted to be there for him. I, I wanted to get to know Gabriel. I wanted to make up. <sighs> forget it. You got your revenge. What? Craig, where are you going? I'm going to I'm gonna confess to the damn arson, all right? I'm going to go turn myself in. Oh, snap out of it. Nobody needs to confess to anything. There's another way. I'm listening. Well? We just blame the whole thing on an electrical short caused by faulty wiring. The whole arson idea goes away. The insurance company pays out. What about Gabriel? Well, he's just a novice electrician who made a mistake. That could work. Stay away from her, okay? What are you gonna do? Hit me again? Why don't you get out of my face? Oh, please, please, hit me. Because every time you do, Liberty comes over and kisses and makes it all better. Oh, really? See, that's funny because Faith told me what supposedly happens, but I can't believe it. Yeah, what'd she say? Well, Faith's a teenage drama queen, okay? She just jumps to conclusions about everything. But see, there's no way that Liberty would ever hook up with a loser like you. <laughs> well, yeah? Yeah, well, you're wrong, because Liberty and I did hook up. Okay, so go ahead, take your best shot. Okay, mom is gone, and you have got to tell me what's going on. Where did mom go? She took a walk. I guess she's really mad at you. Well, it's mutual. Did she really ask Uncle Craig to stay here? I'm afraid she did. Please, darling, do not call him Uncle Craig. He's not a part of this family, not any longer. Why? I mean, why did she ask him? Is something weird going on with her? Honey, I think... I she cannot bear, she cannot accept the fact that your father is thinking about marrying Molly. So she's overcompensating, she's replenishing the house. Do you, do you know what those words mean? Oh, thank God. <laughs> she's just filling the house with strays. But I don't understand why Craig can't stay at his own place. I don't know. And Gabriel, he should just do what he says. Take his money and get out. Gabriel has money? That's what he claims. He probably got it from some old woman he conned. An old woman? You know, like mom. Or a younger one, like Liberty. Ugh. Liberty doesn't have any money. I wasn't talking about money. Oh. Oh. You mean, that's what you're telling me, that they're... <gasps> that's what it oh, looks like? Oh, honey, if that's true, I'm never going to get rid of that boy. What are you thinking, Grandma? Okay, why not? <laughs> so pretty. You're such a pretty girl, you could turn up over his head. Excuse me? And you're very wily, in a good way, like, like me. And you might actually feel it kind of an achievement to take one for the team. Yeah. 
Are you asking me to sleep with Gabriel? <laughs>